today, Lisa and I are going to show you how to make liquid air freshener for uh, to refill your plugins. Your your it could be Glade or which whichever one you prefer. Um, so Airwake is what Lisa has, so we're going to do this one. And Lisa and I were playing around with this, and um, her wig had a little mishap. She's used it a bit, and then it, it was falling apart. But not to worry, because we've been experimenting, and we found that if you clip the ends, uh, the one end off of a Q-tip, uh, it has to be the paper rolled Q-tip, not the plastic ones. But uh, if you clip just one end off of that and stick those down into your um, cap here, your plastic cap here, then that will work just as good as a wig. Okay, and you can also use those in your, your gel candles if you don't have, uh, uh, if you're, something happens to your wig or it's not long enough, you can do the same thing in your gel candle. It just has to be the paper ones. So, and, and that goes right down in there nicely. So today we're going to show you how to make this refill. It's very simple. Three ingredients. Your base oil. This one is our, uh, made by Rising Sun. We got it from Dollar General. Um, it's just a sweet almond uh, carrier oil. And um, we're going to use this one. And we're going to use about two teaspoons of your carrier oil. Um, there's all kinds of carrier oils out there. Um, this is just the one that we prefer. We also did a, when we first heard about this, we were concerned about the oil catching, possibly catching fire, so we did a little experiment and we tried to uh, set this on fire, put a few drops on some aluminum foil, tried to light it up and it would not light. It would not catch fire. So, um, so I was pleased about that. So I would recommend, be, you know, before you use any of your base oils, uh, I know uh, pure olive oil is a base oil. Um, Wild Tree makes a, Wild Tree makes a, an organic Coconut oil, that's a good carrier oil. Um, anything that, that you can use as a base. And so you put that in there, and then you're gonna take your essential oil, any flavor, any flavor, we're not eating it, any um, scent that you like. Um, Lisa wanted peppermint for this particular refill. So, um, again, this is also personal preference because some of your sites call for 20 drops, some of your sites call for, for half of this container filled, uh, but that would not be cost effective. That would actually cost more to use half of this full of your essential oil would cost way more than going and buying the refills. So that's why we use the carrier oil so that you can use less of your essential oils. Okay, and it just goes a long way. So we're gonna use approximately 10 drops. That's what Lisa likes. That's what she's has found is best for her. So. for good measure all right so we're going to use that then the rest of the way we're going to fill this with water and you're going to want to be careful too i want to at least after i fill this up i want you to show the, the folks that when you fill this the rest of the way only come up to about the top of your lettering here okay because if you have the wick the wick has a little bit of weight and it's going to disperse your liquid and you don't want it to overfill um so then that's it folks you're gonna put your cap back on there and give that just a tad bit of a shaking and voila you have um you have a refill you have a, a air freshener to refill and that's that's all it takes and you're set and you're saving a lot of money uh lisa likes the plugins i'm gonna tell you i've never i've never used a plug-in ever um kind of old school my grandma used to, she used to have a, um, the old wood burning stoves, the big cast iron wood burning stoves. And she used to keep a pot on the back and she would put her, her apple peels. We don't, uh, I know that a, a lot of us don't make homemade apple pies anymore, but she used to take her apple peels when she was making pie or her orange peels or whatever had a good fragrance. She would put it in a pot with a few drops of vanilla and some water and she would stick that on the back of that that stove and then just all day you would smell that amazing aroma. We always thought something was cooking at grandma's. But um, what I do is I found this little wax burner at a yard sale and I loved it. It went with one of my photos, that I my, my pictures. Um, Karen Hine picture, I love her, she's amazing. But um, anyway, I like to take just 
a little bit of vanilla right in that wax, uh, right on the top of that wax burner, and some water, just a little bit. Uh, you're just gonna mix it a little bit of water and some cinnamon. And this is the smell I like. Uh, you could also use pumpkin pie spice. I heard that uh, I heard that pumpkin, uh, the aroma of pumpkin pies is one of the best aphrodisiacs for men. So if you want your man to get a little frisky with you, put a little pump pumpkin pie spice in there, and uh, he won't be able to leave you alone. <laughs> so we're just gonna mix that up a little bit, and you know what is amazing is. Mmm, that's going to infuse in there. Oh, that's going to smell so good. If you wanted to put some essential oils in here, too, instead of the cinnamon, if you just wanted to put uh, some water in just the essential oils um, and then light your candle, that, that works works very well. So, um, you know, be a little prettier, a little, a little less sloppy than I was there. And then you just light your candle in there, uh, put it in there, and just put it in a safe place, and you've got... Smell, smell goods in your house and everything everybody's gonna think you're baking something cookies on the way psych <laughs> so there you have it folks that's your um, that's your very simple recipe for your liquid air fresheners give it a try <laughs>